Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. there's no show right i mean it has to it has to keep going and the cool thing about um you know when you first get a, a gig and you're like you have a you have a, a love interest sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't right so like I, I first met natalie and one of the cool things about her is that she's australian and i think australians are like so cool and she was also open to like um new ideas when we started shooting like it wasn't we didn't stick to everything on the page but we did and we didn't uh, did she tell you the dance story no. no oh, so you know the dance. You know the dance scene when we started dancing in the club. That was cute. Yeah, that wasn't even scripted. Oh. That was that was because we had already been shooting for a week and we like started to get to know each other and like we had already shot a bunch of scenes. And then there was this club scene and we're like, we feel like something's missing. And then we were both like, why don't we do a dance scene? Because in between takes leading up to that scene, she and I would always like dance sala sala, like just like in between takes, you know, because you know you're waiting for a new setup, you're waiting for a new shot. So she was like, so she was like, why don't we just dance how we usually dance when we're waiting, you know, for the new shot? Why don't we just add a new scene where we're just dancing? And that that was never that was never scripted that dance scene, but that was just one of the cool things about in terms of connection and like having chemistry with someone that you're allowed to like do cool stuff like that and add stuff, especially on a network television show, which is always like scripted and like you got to do exactly what they say, you know, what's written. And you're part of an all Latino cast. Yes. How is that experience? It was super cool. It was one of the. The, the few times that I got to work on a all Latino cast because I did um I, I was lucky enough to do you know the Che Guevara movie with Benicio but that was like I don't know 12 13 years ago and it was like a cast of like I don't know 300 you know and like you know there was no secondary parts but it was cool to be a part of like an all Latino cast this is the first time that first of all that I'm the lead of a TV show and also that I got to lead this ensemble cast and the cool thing is, is that it's not just about like what we're trying to do like just being an all Latino cast because you know there's not that much on TV representing us, but it was also that we know like how it, it transcends just the storyline, right? It just it transcends that it's just a baker and the beauty. It, it's all about also the multi national cast that we have. You know, I'm from my family from the Dominican Republic. Natalie, I think I'm sure she told you that Peruvian and Australia. is it Peru? Yeah, yeah, Born Peru. Peru. Yeah. Australia, exactly. Uh, you know, I can name the whole cast, but Michelle's from Ecuador, Carlos Gomez is from Cuba, Lisa Vidal is Boricua, and, uh, and, my, and the guy who plays my brother, David Del Rio, is uh, Cuban, Colombian, and Belisa is Mexican. L.A., by the way, like, um, um, from Echo Park, fool, uh, I'll share what you say, fool. Um, so it's cool. So I think what's cool about it, to answer your question, is that um, not only are we telling a cool story that I think every, you know, ethnicity is going to relate to, the one way or another, but the simple fact that I think we're gonna, uh, we're we're hoping that we transcend and tr create a trend that like we're here, you know what I mean? Like Latinos are here, and our stories are just as relatable as white, black, Chinese, whatever, you know. So the the pilot takes a lot from the original, and the original's wonderful if you haven't watched it yet. It's actually it's it, I I binged the whole thing, um, but then very quickly after the pilot, they were like, you know what? This is a whole different dynamic, different cast, and and they have gone in their own direction so by watching the original you're not, you're not going to get too many spoilers because pretty much we only lift certain things from the pilot and we kind of go our own way yeah yeah but yeah so that scene was uh taken from the original and it was it's a nice idea like like to, for two people to meet in that way in the men's bathroom and it comes up later where someone's like why were you in the oh lewis he's like why were you in the men's bathroom and she's like there's no line and it's just like the most unexpected place to meet a celebrity like you know finishing up at the urinal <laughs> and then like the equivalent of um, j-lo walks out I really like this representation of a beautiful woman on television that is three-dimensional. Um, it's nice to play a Latina woman that's three-dimensional. Most of the times um, we're maids, we're stealing someone's husband, we're, you know. So, and this role was not written as Latina. In fact, they wanted her to be um, 
more ethnically different to the Cuban family, and so I was not a first choice. And uh, and then I came back and did it in my Australian accent, and they were like, "Oh, this could make sense because even though I'm ethnically Latina, the cultural differences play if I if I if I play my Australian upbringing." And so um, so that's how we ended up with an all Latin cast. And so in this way, I really I really enjoy getting to uh, portray a three-dimensional, smart... The, the beauty is irrelevant. They really want to show her as smart, capable. She has a company. She's a mogul. She has her hands in all these different... Um, all these different kinds of businesses. She's a designer. She's also a philanthropist. She's like a modern-day superwoman. And that's exciting to show on television to young women especially and young Latinas especially that you don't have to be limited into these boxes that they used to write us into. You know, I'm the Prince Charming. He's the Cinderella. I'm buying him stuff. I think that's nice to show on TV for women to know that they don't always have to just, you know, grow up and like pursue the man and, you know, like they can be they can be um, the ones being pursued and chased and when and and as aspired to well that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life love and pop culture